Karen. And I'm Barbara. And, and we're, we're the, the Sing Sisters. Sisters. So today we're continuing our series on iOS 11 and we're covering the camera app. Right, it got some great new updates. Yeah, so let's take a look. So now we have our phone up and we're going to go over um, one of the first things about the new camera app with iOS 11 is that it's got its own setting now. Which is great. <laughs> yeah. It's join the big leagues. So I'm going to tap ahead, go ahead and tap on settings, the gear icon. And I'm going to scroll, uh, if I was scrolled up, you would scroll down till you see photos, which used to be photos and camera, but now right below it, camera has its own setting, which is great. Um, the top one is one, preserve settings. It's not new with 11, but I think it's worth pointing out because a lot of people don't know about it. If I go into it, um, you can see that this is the last mode that you were in. It will keep it that way. So what that means is, let's say you're out on vacation and you're just um, taking a lot of shots for Instagram and posting them and you want to keep that square format, if you have this on, it'll stay, stay in that square format. Or if you're doing um, a bunch of videos, um, you don't want it to keep going you know, back to photos, make sure this is on so you can pick the mode. It will stay in the last mode. Perfect. And same with the filter. You, know, you can <clears throat> keep it at the same filter that you had before and um, live photo on or off. But, uh, and the grid is the second thing, thing down that isn't new, but that's, that's right. a very handy feature, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. um, then down here is scan QR codes, which is an awesome feature. You don't have to use a third-party app now to scan any QR code. Um, you, it works right within the camera app, and we're going to show you later. And then um, record your video and record your slow-mo. Didn't change. Right. Yep. But the great, the really exciting thing that changed is this formats. Now, this will be on your... Uh, seven or plus. Seven or higher. Seven it's the, or higher. It's the A10 chip right. that you need in your phone okay. in order to use this feature. So on my lowly success, it won't work, but I'm soon to get an X if they right. ever come out, right? Right, right. <laughs> but what it does is high efficiency is it creates, um, it takes up half the space, half right. the storage space. You can have twice as many photos on your device now. Right. And so for a lot of people, this is key. They run out of room. Yeah, right. And, um, you know, that's just awesome. So that is uh, the settings. And, of course, well, HDR at the very bottom, that would right. be the same. So new settings, very exciting. Right. And the next thing we're going to look at is in the uh, actual camera app <clears throat> itself. So we're going to go out and go into the camera app, and we're going to talk about the portrait mode. The portrait mode came out with the um, 7 or the 6 Plus. Mm -hmm. So it has to be the plus size <clears throat> camera. And what it does is it offers you a really nice dramatic look where it'll blur the background. And um, what happened in, where what's now in this new version is it's gotten smarter. They're using optic image uh, stabilization uh -huh. in order to um, to keep things stable. The, you can use the flash, and it will also use HDR if it needs to. Where okay. that that's Apple's deal, where the camera will take uh, three or four photos, and it'll it'll put them together and pick the best of each to give you a really great shot. Okay. So let's take a look at the portrait mode first of all. Um, you'll notice at the top of the screen, it says depth effect in yellow right now. Mm -hmm. That's the key. That means you're actually in the right mode. I'm going to kind of move this around. Now you can see that it's not yellow right now. Okay. It's saying, wait a minute, move farther away. Right. Sometimes it says move farther away. Sometimes it says move closer. So you let's see if we can get it back. around to <clears throat> get to you actually see it, right? Right. So now we see it, and you can kind of see it's showing us a preview that the flowers behind it are blurred. Oh, that's nice. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the picture. And then we're going to take a quick look at it. I'm going to click on the preview in the bottom left. And you can see that the bird is nice and sharp. And the flowers mm -hmm. behind it, you, they're a little bit... And oh, instantly blurry. you look like a professional photographer. That's right. People move <laughs> crazy over these pictures. Yeah, especially when you're doing a portrait of a yes, person. you've got people. Yeah. And the background is all blurred. I mean, it's just fantastic. I get so many great comments on our yeah. photos we've taken that way. Right, like you're some hot shot photographer. Yeah, exactly. Well... It's actually just the iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Now, the other things that you can do, which you couldn't do before, is you can turn on the flash. So we can go ahead and we can take one with flash. In portrait mode, right? In portrait mode, mm -hmm. right? You couldn't do that in portrait mode before. Now, notice it turned HDR off because just like in regular photo mode, HDR doesn't work okay. with flash at this point. So those are the, the great new things. Now, if you're lucky enough to have an iPhone um, 8, eight. 
plus plus any and going forward the X will have this too the a11 bionic chip um, phones will have um, more options for lighting so there's like six different lighting effects like studio and contour lighting and things like that that you can play around with that um, look like they're going to be really a lot of fun oh yeah i found it's them to be great. a little buggy they weren't were quite working well I had, right. a, I had my hands on an a plus over the weekend we right. did at the bonfire and that didn't work out very well some of them yeah um the next thing that they have are they have some really great new filters so if i go into filters you're going to see down on the bottom i've got the original but i can also go into um Vivid is the first one, so okay. makes sense, yeah. right? Leave it to Apple. They always make things make sense. When you're in other programs, there's, you know, these crazy names for the filters, and you're like, what does that mean? Right. Apple says, you know, warm. Right. I love the silver one. There, yeah. You know. So here we've got Vivid, Vivid Warm, Vivid Cool, and you can really see the difference. And you've got Dramatic, Dramatic Warm and Cool, and then you've got three black and white modes, um, mono, silver tone, and noir. And they've refined these, and they've made them nicer, mm -hmm. um, and they, they really are very high quality. Right. So that's very nice. Yes. Another um, great feature now that's come to the camera app, let me get out of the filter area and back into photos. I'm going to pick it up here, and we're going to take a look at scanning documents, okay? So many of you might use a scanner app to scan documents, which will automatically, uh, you know, straighten up, up your photo. But in here, you can do it, too. And you'll notice that when you go top down with the camera, you've got these crosshairs in the middle. And see, they're yellow and white, and all you have to do is line them up before you take your picture. So line them up, take your picture. Oh, I've got the flash on, but... It's going to give us a nice, straight-looking picture. Yeah, that looks great. So um, the last great feature about the camera app in uh, iOS 11 is that now it is a QR scanner. Right. Um, you used to always have to use a third-party app to scan in your QR codes, but let me show you how easy it is. I've got the camera app open, and I'm just going to put it over a thing. And you notice uh, the pop-down banner says, website QR code open in SyncSisters.com in Safari. So I'm going to tap on that. And voila, there's our beautiful website, right? Right. Which uh, we created this QR code to take people to our site. Right. And it's really sensitive. So that's why they give you the option of turning it off. If you're in a, if you're taking pictures in a place where um, there's a bunch of QR codes on posters or things around or signs. It's going to pick those up. It's very good at picking yeah, things up. Yeah, it's too so good, right? <laughs> you might need to turn that feature off. One other thing I forgot to mention when I was telling you about the grid, um, doing the, the top-down scanning, scanning of documents, documents. Yep. you have to have the grid on in order to get that. Ah, and we, yeah. should, we saw that in the camera app settings. That's right. So I think the updates with the, to the camera app on iOS 11 have been great. It's been a while since it's got a revamp and so we hope you uh, learned a lot today well thanks for watching our video today we so love making these videos and bringing you this free content but we do need your support right so how can you support us first of all don't skip the commercials that's how any creator makes money on YouTube um, like our video share it with your friends subscribe to our YouTube channel and another great way is to go to our website using the link on the screen and um, shop through our Amazon link same secure Amazon shopping that you love at no extra cost, but it really helps support us to bring you these great videos. Right. So thanks for learning with us and thanks for supporting us.